Hello and welcome to another tutorial video on flashing free operating systems on mobile phones. Today we are going to flash Replicant on a Samsung Galaxy S3 using a Linux desktop. Replicant is a fork of Lineage OS and focuses on being a fully free operating system, meaning that it replaces many of the proprietary firmware and drivers used in Lineage OS by free software counterparts. If you want to know more about the motivation behind this video, you can go on our campaign website upcyclingandroid.org. To install a replicant on our phone, we start by going to Devices and looking for a phone model. In this case, we have a Samsung Galaxy S3. And here uh, on the device information page, we um, we read replicant installation and um, need to install a replicant on on this phone. We should see the recovery installation with Heimdall page. So this starts out by saying that um, well, these are the instructions to to install the replicant recovery image and uh, is indeed also part of a larger procedure of installing Replicant, but this is the first step. So on the prerequisites, we um, should make sure that we have a phone that um, is listed with its model number here. In this case, we exactly have a Samsung Galaxy S3 um, GT minus I 9300. And a personal computer um, with GNU Linux installed, I already told you that uh, I have a Linux desktop. And next, um, we should install Heimdall. I've already installed Heimdall on my PC, but if you haven't done so, the tools installa installation page um, provides you a few examples how to install Heimdall with your package manager. Next, we should download the files. So we download the files for a specific replicant release by going on this link. It later also tells us which files to download. So for one, uh, the GPG signing key um, that has been used to sign the images and also, well, the recovery image. So we go on this link. And we are brought to the specific release, but if we scroll up, we will see that there's indeed a newer release. That is 6.0.0004. And if we now go on the table to our device, um, we will see a couple of images, one for the system and one for the recovery. So we are going to download well, the GPG signing key, which is a file that opens in the browser, but we can just save it to a location. And next, the recovery image, which you see I've already downloaded, so I don't need to do that again. And also the signature file which again opens in the browser, but you can just save it. And I've also downloaded this already, but we can just replace it with a small file. Downloads fast. And uh, because we are going to, in the recovery, flash the system, we are already going to download the system files as well. So this should be, you, already s you see that I've already downloaded it, so uh, no need to do it again and also the signature file. All right. Next, we should check the signature of the recovery image. To do this, we should import the GPG key to our key ring. So going on this page, we see one method is to get the key from the key server. And the other one is to import the file that uh, we've downloaded before, the GPG key. So th the problem with the GPG key is that it's out of date, and the one in the key on the key server is actually up to date. So we are going to 
get the key from the key server and in our terminal paste this command which imports the key successfully. Now that we've downloaded the key we can check the signature of the recovery key with the following command. So we're just going to copy that over and replace the arguments. So this should be the image file and this should be the image signature file. So this says 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 good signature. So we're good and we have a file that's not compromised and um, that is not corrupted. A recovery image file that, that is. Next we are going to prepare our device. As you can see I changed the window configuration so now we have on the left the browser and the and the terminal window and on the right we have a webcam feed showing the phone. So in the first step we should make sure that the device is completely turned off and disconnected from a USB cable. So you go to the phone, unlock the lock screen, long press the power button and tap power off. Now that the device is turned off, we remove the external case. Next, we follow the device-specific instructions to boot the phone into download mode. So scrolling down, we follow the devices under all other devices. So in the first step, we start the device by holding the volume down, select and power button until a warning message appears. And then we confirm that we want to boot into download mode using the volume up button and that should be it. So, volume down, select and power. And now at the warning screen we, sele we select volume up. And we have the phone and brought we brought the phone into download mode. We now connect the phone um, with the computer using a USB cable. and proceed with installing the recovery image. So to install the recovery, the recovery image we have to issue a Heimdall command and since we have a Heimdall um, Galaxy S3 phone we copy this command over to the command line and replace the arguments correspondingly This should be recovery, the recovery image file, and this as well. Confirm by pressing enter, and that's it. We successfully flashed the recovery image. We now connect the phone um, with the computer using a USB cable. And proceed with installing the recovery image. So 
To install the recovery, the recovery image, we have to issue a Heimdall command. And since we have a Heimdall um, Galaxy S3 phone, we copy this command over to the command line and replace the arguments correspondingly. Uh, this should be recovery, the recovery image file, and this as well. Confirm by pressing enter, and that's it. We successfully flashed the recovery image. Now that the phone successfully rebooted into recovery mode, we can go ahead um, and proceed with the remaining installation instructions. So we made sure that we obtained a supported device. We didn't back up the device because we didn't have any valuable data on it and we installed the recovery image and booted into the recovery mode. So now it's time to wipe the storage volume partitions. So first off we are going to wipe the system partition by selecting advanced and going on wipe system partition and confirming with yes. Next, we are going to wipe the ca cache and data partitions. So, first, need to go back to the main menu, and then clicking, uh, selecting factory reset, and then wipe data, keep media, confirming with yes. Now we go back to the main menu, and are at the point uh, where we want to install the operating system. So. Uh, in our case, we have a computer and it's connected to the phone with a USB cable. And we also have a command line open. So since we've already downloaded the file, um, what remains to be done is actually to, to verify the signature on it, the signature file, and then install the, uh, the zip uh, file using ADB. So on the command line, let's first verify the system uh, system file so first argument is the signature file second argument is the uh, the file name um, and this tells us it's a good signature so we can go ahead and install the zip partition file using s uh, adb site load and then the file name. Um, what we should also do um, is bring the device into um, apply from adb mode. So we do this by selecting apply update and apply from adb. Now back in the command line we are site loading the file. So this successfully installed the operating system. We go back to the wiki page and indeed the installation is complete. So the last remaining the two last remaining steps are to factory reset the device. So if we go on factory reset and select full factory reset. We confirm with yes.
and now that this is done we go back to the main menu and um, reboot the device. So the backup of the modem partition we can do but um, in this case we we don't backup the modem partition and just reboot into the system. So this successfully installed Replicant on the Samsung Galaxy S3. Um, we are now um, shown a screen uh, of the setup wizard, which uh, is not part of this video to set up the phone. Um, what we shouldn't forget about is to put the case back on and remove the USB cable. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video.